We just hit the jackpot tonight, dumpster diving. I found all this stuff. I found iPads, iPhones, computers, PCs, new stuff in boxes. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you everything I found in the first half of the video. The second half of the video, I'm going to go and test this stuff to see if it actually works. So stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> so let's go over the stuff I found tonight. I found an iPad mini. I'm going to go home and plug this in and see if it works. Great find here. I think this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 or 3. I'm not 100% on that, but a uh, great find here. Pretty cool find. I think this is an iPhone 5C. I'm not 100% on this, but <laughs> all this stuff we found in the same dumpster. Here is a Acer tablet. This does turn on. I already turned it on. Um, it might take a while to boot up here, but awesome find. I don't know how much this would go for. I don't think it'll go for a whole lot. It's running, uh, I think, Android 4.2.2, I think. But it does turn on. It does work. It's a pretty cool find. Didn't expect to find this in the dumpster. <laughs> uh, this is, I believe, a first-generation iPad. Not a whole lot of value in this. If it does work, I can get at least about $30 off of this thing from eBay if I sell it on eBay. Pretty cool find still. Okay, so those are the tablets. I found a bunch of stuff new in the box. Here is, uh, I haven't even really looked at this yet. I don't even know what this is. If you know what this is, go ahead and type it in the comments. It's definitely a little bit older, some kind of old school tech here. So I'll look this up later and uh, see how much it is. Still, anything new in box is, uh, is a cool find in my book. Okay, here is a security camera. There is a price on here that says $174. It looks like a 720p indoor-outdoor security camera. Um, it is in here. Check that out. The power supply is in here. The mounting bracket. The camera itself is still inside. I might be able to uh, make a pretty decent chunk of change off this thing if I sell it online. Awesome find. Some more stuff, new in boxes. This really old school RGB lighting. I don't know if this has any uh, a lot of value in it, but it's new in the box. Definitely can sell this stuff on eBay, no problem. Um, just an old school sound card. Probably not a whole lot of value here, but still pretty cool. It's in there in the box. Uh, <laughs> paper shredder in the box, sealed still. So I actually need one of these. I'm probably going to keep that. Uh, some of this stuff here. I have no idea what this is. USB to NAS. This is what it said. I don't know. Probably not a whole lot of value here, but I'll look it up later. Maybe it might be worth 10, 20 bucks. Um, a bunch of new stuff in boxes. I can't believe it. This is just a, a power supply for a laptop. Looks like it's never been used. Okay, let's move on. Let's check out these PCs next. Everything I found tonight was all in the same dumpster. I pulled all this stuff out of one dumpster. Let's check this out here. Uh, this is, I think, probably the nicest PC out of the lot. It's an HP Pavilion. Uh, it's got the Beats audio option. It's an A, AMD A4 processor. Let's open it up here really quick. Okay, it looks like it has everything inside. Let's get a better look at this thing here. It has the, um, it has a one terabyte hard drive. I'm guessing the CPU is still in there. The RAM is still there. It's got the disk drive. Um, I'll go ahead and test this later to see if it works. If it works, I might sell it here locally for about 50 bucks. So awesome find there. Here it is, looks like a custom PC build. Let's go ahead and see if we can open this up. I might need a screwdriver for this. Let's open this one up. Okay, <laughs> this one has three hard drives inside. The, uh, the motherboard, I'm guessing the CPU is still inside there. Uh, if this thing turns on, probably I could sell this locally for about 30 to $40. I, I have no idea what um what processor this is or what c what cpu if it even works so i'll test this one later okay next up we got this dell inspiron 531 let's go ahead and crack this thing open see what is inside
Okay, the hard drive, the hard, the hard drive's still here. The RAM, everything. The motherboard looks okay. I don't see any uh, busted open capacitors or anything like that. It's an older computer. If I can get this thing running, I might be able to uh, sell it here locally for about 40 bucks. So good find there. Looks like we got a mystery older PC build here. I'm not sure what exactly this is. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. It's got three hard drives in it. Uh, the motherboard, everything's inside here. So this one actually, uh, I'm not sure. I might scrap this out. I might try to clean it up and sell it. We'll put that off to the side for now. This box is full of hard drives. Old discarded hard drives that probably don't work. A lot of them have uh, these these uh, post-it notes with the the di no diagnosis on it. it. Says smart error. I think bad. This one says bad clicking noise. So definitely, there is still value in these things, even if they don't work. Um, you can scrap these out, sell them, sell the little bo the boards here online if you have enough of them. Uh, okay. What else do we have here? Just, yeah, a lot of old hard drives. Okay, okay, check this out. Here is a Logitech subwoofer. I haven't uh, really looked over this yet. It looks like it's in pretty decent condition. I'll have to definitely test this out. If it doesn't work, I can scrap this thing out. It's got some really nice aluminum, uh, extruded aluminum uh, heat sink right there so pretty cool find there um a bunch of disc drives that were just in there that i saw in there these are definitely going to be going to the scrap yard but pretty cool find still i can't believe i found all this stuff i think there is still some uh random cords in here a couple of uh ups's yeah there's a a ups right here an apc Surge protector, power supply, right there. So, wow, here's some. I, I uh, this might not be worth anything. I don't know. It's a um, AV switch, I believe. So I'll look at the prices on eBay. Maybe this will be worth something. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, here's another thing that was still in the box. This um, security camera. It's in there. Look at that. Definitely an eBay, eBay sell, sell, uh, I can sell this on eBay no problem. So awesome find there. I found this one. It was attached to a piece of wood, but that might work. If that works, I'll probably sell that on eBay too. So awesome finds tonight. Stay tuned for the next half of the video. I'll try to test as much of the stuff as I can and, uh, <laughs> tally everything up. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get into the second half of the video. In this part of the video, we're going to test everything out to see if it works and see how much I can get for this stuff already. First up, we got this first generation iPad mini. Unfortunately, this thing does have an activation lock on it. It uh, has an iCloud lock on it, but it does work. In this condition, you know, it's pretty much a paperweight. There's nothing you can really do with it with an iCloud lock on it, but there is still value in this thing. Uh, iCloud lock, first gen iPad minis still go on eBay for parts for around 40 bucks. So I can still make a potential 40 bucks off this thing. So pretty good deal, even in the condition it's in. Alrighty, here we go. We got a iPhone 5C. The screen does have some issues here. And unfortunately this thing is uh, iCloud lock, activation locked as well. So there's not gonna, not gonna be a whole lot of value in it. Maybe 10 to 20 bucks of value here. I did find this first generation iPad. This thing does not work. It's pretty much worthless. What I might try and do, I might try to sell these all these Apple products in a lot on eBay, maybe in an auction. You know, I'll be happy if I get 40 to $50 for all three of these things, so pretty good deal. All right, next up, uh, we got a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. This thing does not work. I tried to turn it on. It does not power on. The screen doesn't turn on or anything. No indicator lights. I might try to fix this. I'm not sure yet, but uh, in this condition, I might be able to get around 10 to 20 bucks for this thing on eBay. I mean, the screen looks pretty good, but not a whole lot of value in this. Next up, we have this Acer Android tablet. It does turn on, but for some reason, it's not wanting to boot 
past this Android logo screen. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Even if this was in good working condition, there's probably not a whole lot of value here anyway, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and recycle this. If I tally everything up here, I may be able to get 40 to $50 from these tablets that I found. Let's go through the items that I found that were still in the box. We have sealed items, we have some new old stock items here, so we're gonna go through all this and see exactly what we have and see how much I can get for it. First item we have here is this sealed new old stock hard drive enclosure. It has a little label here for Windows 2000 XP, so it's fairly old. Probably not a whole lot of value in this, but, you know, maybe someone might find this desirable since it's sealed. I'll throw it up on eBay for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. If I get 20 or 30 bucks out of this, I'll be happy. Next up, we have this new old stock cooling fan, a uh, Thermaltake Extreme Spirit 2. I saw a listing for this exact same model it had sold on ebay for around 60 bucks so <laughs> if i can get 60 bucks out of this thing that'll be awesome next up we have this uh, logisys pc remote a start reset controller i saw a uh, a listing on ebay for this model going for 144 dollars that seemed way overpriced for me I saw another listing on eBay, on uh, Newegg going for around 30 bucks. So if I can get 20 to 30 bucks for this thing, I'll be happy. Next up, we have these cold cathode lights. These are look to be fairly old, but I did find a bunch of listings for these on eBay. These are selling fairly well. Um, they're going for around $11.75 a piece, and I have seven of them. So I think I can make a pretty decent profit off these. They're still, you know, in the box. Apparently, these haven't been used, so... Uh, I can make a pretty decent profit off these. Awesome. Next up, we have this Montego Turtle Beach sound card. This is still in here. This is uh, in the original box. I saw a listing on eBay for a used one going for around 30 bucks. But we have the box with it. It's still inside. So, you know, if I get 30 bucks out of this thing, I'll be happy. I'll put it up on eBay. You know, if it sells for 30 bucks, great. Awesome. Next up, we have these security cameras. I couldn't find a lot of information about these cameras online. This one has a retail sticker price of $174.99 on it. It's fairly old. Um, I haven't, yeah, I haven't tested these yet. If these work, I'll put them up on eBay. You know, if I get $100 for these two, I'm happy with that. There's a lot of uh, cameras on eBay online that look like this, and it's still in here. I mean... It's new in the box. It looks like it's never been used. So, you know, if this works, if I get 50 bucks out of that, I'll be happy. If I get 50 bucks from this camera, I'll be happy with that. Next up, we have this camera power supply distribution box. I took this out of the box. I think it had been previously used before. There was some dust on the inside, but this little box is actually pretty cool. It has a really nice terminal block here. All the terminals are fused. It has these little LED indicator lights and some resistors here on the block. So, you know, if you wanted to, you probably could uh, use this little box for hobbies. We had like some hobbies or something or some, you know, something else other than, uh, you know, a camera power supply. So I actually might keep this. I haven't tested it out yet to see if it works, but uh, this is actually a pretty cool little box. I did see listings for the same exact model on eBay. They had a listing for a used one going for around 45 bucks. So, you know, if I decide to sell this thing, I can make around 45 bucks for it. So awesome find. Next up, we have this little paper shredder that I found in the trash. Uh, it's still here. It's still in the box. I'm curious to see if this works. It looks like it's never been used before. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing in and see if it turns on. Okay, so I got this thing plugged in. I'm going to feed it some paper and see what happens, see if it works. Let's go ahead and feed it in there. There we go. <laughs> I guess it works. We'll go ahead and feed it this um, SIM card. See what, see what happens. No problem. <laughs> so I actually might keep this thing. It's free. You know, I got it for free. So awesome. Great find. I'm gonna go ahead and test out these PCs that I found next. All these PCs have the hard drive still inside. We're gonna test out this HP uh, AMD A4 desktop right now to see if it works. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Oh, 
Okay, looks like it is booting. All right. This PC, it did boot. It's running Windows 10. So great find here. I can sell this PC here locally for 50 bucks if I really want to get rid of it. Awesome find. I can't believe I found this in the dumpster. A PC running Windows 10. Next up, we're going to test this mystery PC build that I found in the dumpster. We're going to go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Okay, it's uh, it's starting here. It's really noisy. There we go. Looks like it's booting. Okay, this thing is running Windows XP. <laughs> Probably not a whole lot of value in this uh, this old desktop here, but I may be able to part it out. Maybe sell the motherboard online for about thirty bucks. Awesome find. We got our last PC here. We got a Dell Inspiron 531. We're going to go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Okay, it did start. Let's see if it'll uh, boot up here. There it goes. This uh, computer did boot. I believe it's running Windows 8. Awesome find. I bet I could sell this here locally for about 30 to 40 bucks. Awesome find. Next up, we have this Logitech Z5300. I already played around with this thing. It does work. This thing is loud, man. This thing slaps. Let me turn it on. <laughs> it does work. I can't believe it works. I can't believe I found it in the dumpster. On eBay... There are listings for this same exact model going for around 115 bucks. Um, those listings had about two more speakers than I have. So, you know, realistically, I'll be happy if I get around 80 to to $100 for this thing. So that's it. That's everything we found in one night of dumpster diving. I can't believe we found all this great stuff, you know, between the computers, the tablets, the subwoofer, the new stuff in boxes. I think I pulled out of that dumpster in one night over $600 worth of stuff. I can't believe it. What an awesome night of dumpster diving. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. If you like videos like this or if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have other dumpster dive videos on my channel. You can check out other types of content too. Wow, I can't believe it. Again, we found all this great stuff. Thanks for tuning in everybody. I really appreciate it. I'll see you later. Peace.